Hi, everybody, and welcome to Keelan Babies, presented by Spendthrift. I'm Dan Ullman, along with Nicole Russo, and let's throw up the field for the first race at Keeneland on Wednesday. We're going four and a half furlongs, and it's a pretty full field, Nicole. Wesley Ward has the four coffee maker, and coffee maker is sired by Spendthrift stallion Jimmy Creed. Yeah, and Jimmy Creed, one of a couple of, I think, underrated stallions who's represented in here. It's an interesting group. As you mentioned, it's a full group. And we saw it again in the baby races and opening day. Really, the key to these four and a half for lung sprints is to get away from the gate well. So you're looking for a horse who can do that for sure. We have a couple of coupled entries in here, so we'll take this field in program number order, beginning with the number one, Norwood, a $7,000 yearling by Run Happy. Run Happy's gotten off to a slow start with his two-year-old first-time starters. Maybe they just need to mature a little bit. This dam is a half to a two-year-old grade three stakes winning turf router. Well, and you make a good point about the run happies needing to mature a little bit. I think people looked at him and saw a champion sprinter and assumed his foals would show speed at two. But you remember run happy really came to hand the second half of his three-year-old year. And I think his offspring have followed suit and that they need the time to be at their best. He's starting to strike now with some of his three-year-old stakes horses. Norwood's coupled entry mate is the number one A, Kavad. And Kavad has sort of an intriguing pedigree. He's a half to a two-year-old stakes-placed turf router, and a, a couple of them, as a matter of fact. So there is some precocity, but there's also distance. And this horse is by a stallion, Lee, that normally needs distance and maturity before they do their best. So an interesting pedigree, some class on the bottom. I just wonder if this horse might benefit from distance and turf down the road. That's very much what I think. By Lee, a multi-purpose sire, a route type of sire, over a pulpit mare, another versatile sort of stamina-oriented line. Uh, you know, we talk about both of these horses needing time to mature, but I probably prefer the entry mate Norwood. The number two is Ketcherulo, and Ketcherulo is a $2,000 yearling by Biogenic, a son of Tappet that didn't do much on the racetrack, but was well-bred. Yeah, um, Biogenic, kind of an interesting profile, didn't break his maiden, but maybe the talent will skip a generation. As you mentioned, he's by Tappet, who's done very well with his sons at stud, an emerging sire of sires. His sons are good two-year-old sires. Out of Biofuel, who was a very good two-year-old in Canada, she was a champion in Canada. Uh, first crop for this one, you know, who's bred top and bottom to be a good two-year-old sire. Sort of a steady work pattern for this one. I think he might be here to get his feet wet and might show up later on. Here's a fun stable, mate. The 2B Eli is the first starter by Keen Ice, who broke everybody's heart in winning the Travers and taking down American Pharaoh. Keen Ice, a very long-winded horse with a lot of ability. I wonder if he will be a precocious stallion. I think he'll be a good one as a son of Curlin. I think he will be a very nice stallion down the line. But as you mentioned, he wanted to run all day. In addition to that Traverse win over American Pharaoh at a mile and a quarter, he was on the board in the Belmont behind the Triple Crown Hero at a mile and a half. I think you're going to see that curling keen ice stamina coming through in his foals, especially with the stamina in the female family here, too, for his first starter, Eli. The three is Social Mandate, a $15,000 Keeneland short yearling. This one is by Strong Mandate out of a multiple stakes winning router. There is some black type ability in this family. And trainer John Hancock can win with a first time starter. He definitely can. And nine to two or higher would be a generous price at a horse from the Hancock barn. Strong Mandate was a grade one winning two year old himself. And the damn Tensas Harbor, a very hard knocking race mare earned more than half a million, was a six-time stakes winner in her native Louisiana. One of the big surprise opening day at Keeneland was that Wesley Ward was shut out in the two-year-old baby races. Well, he's going to try to make amends with this filly taking on the boys. It's Coffee Maker by Jimmy Creed. And this filly shows some fast workouts at Keeneland and bred top and bottom for Precocity. Jimmy Creed, as you mentioned, very underrated. 17% winners with juvenile debut runners. The dam won her debut and is a half-sister to a stakes place sprinter. Yeah, so speed on the bottom and definitely speed on the top, injected by Spencer of Stallion, Jimmy Creed, who's such a solid stallion. 
Wesley Ward, uh, Irad Ortiz coming in to ride, coming in for this week of the Keeneland meet off a huge Saturday at Aqueduct. Uh, my big concern for this filly is drawing sort of in the middle of the field, as we mentioned, going to have to get away from the gate well that is key in these races. And since she's one of a couple of fillies in here, I'll bring up a point we often talk about, which is at this stage of the year, I really don't make a big deal about fillies facing Colts. I think a good filly, sometimes they come to hand a little bit quicker, and it takes a while before the Colts catch up and kind of gain that physical edge over them. So we really don't see a filly and go, oh, she's taking out the boys. It's a bit less of a big deal than it might be later on in the season. I agree with you 100%, and we've seen that angle work out many, many times at Keeneland in these races, mm -hmm. especially with Wesley Ward-trained fillies. Vodka and water is somewhat interesting for me. A bargain $3,500 yearling purchase. I like Fed Biz as a stallion. They can do just about anything. And he wins 16% with his juvenile debut runners. Vodka and water's dam has already fold a couple of debut winners. Perhaps no surprise as she's a half to a graded stakes winning sprinter. Yeah, there's there's a lot of speed. And you mentioned half to two debut winners. Uh, you know, so a lot of speed and precocity on the bottom side of the family. And then on the top, Fed Biz, he's a stallion I thought pretty highly of. I think he throws nice physicals, uh, son of Giants Causeway, and can certainly throw a fast horse. The number six is Vidal, and maybe it's just trainer John Ennis's year to shine with his two-year-olds during this Keeneland spring meet. Boy, he sent out a fast one in the first race on opening day and Vidal shows similarly quick workouts half mile breeze out of the gate and 46 and change this is a $29,000 yearling buyback by midshipman damn one sprinting on dirt at two and this is the family of the Kentucky Oaks winner blush with pride who I would say was a pretty good broodmare <laughs> yeah, just a little bit. The broodmare of the year threw another broodmare of the year in better than honor, who was a graded performer at two before going on to such a wonderful, productive career, a family that's so active all the time. Uh, John Ennis with that opening day winner, um, you know, in a horse that I had circled to kind of watch second time out. That seems to be the pattern from this barn. But you mentioned that this one you know, has some sharp works as well. Perhaps they're, you know, really focusing on getting these horses out of the gate well, which is so key to these races. You see two-year-old champion midshipman, who's been a very good sprint sire, over a broodmare by into mischief, who, of course, rose to prominence as a leading juvenile sire. And you have to think precocity there. John Ennis also trains the seven Jack the Lad, who is by a precocious stallion in Street Boss. And the dam is full to debut winner named Antiquity. She, a multiple stakes winning turf sprinter that won her debut. There's a lot of juvenile ability here. The word on the street, though, is that Vidal outworked him out of the gate on March 21st. Yeah, I perhaps prefer the stablement here on a pedigree basis. That said, Street Boss is another very solid, perhaps very underrated stallion. And there is a champion two-year-old further back in this family. The number eight Baytown Frosty's been opening up some eyes in the morning. Three furlongs and 34 and change, coming off a half-mile breeze and 47 and change. And we saw that frosted baby that one was very fast on opening day. Baytown Frosty only sold for $4,500 as a yearling, but has a little bit of pedigree, albeit for longer and turf. You know, I, I think longer as well. And certainly I look at Frosted and I think those have come on a bit well later in the two-year-old year, early in the three-year-old career with his first crop that came out last year. That being said, that's what I thought about his winner on opening day, too. And that one just came out like a rocket and blew them off their feet. So not out of the question for Frosted to have a first out winner. Let's take a look at our top selections for Wednesday's Keeneland Babies presented by Spendthrift. Who do you like, Nicole? You know, I really looked at uh, I looked at Vodka and Water and Vidal, and I could really take them in either order. I think both have, you know, sprint-oriented precocity in the family. I think this race is pretty wide open. I will use the Wesley Ward favorite coffee maker in there, but I think she's a vulnerable favorite. And then, you know, behind the top choices, I think there's a couple who could run on and run well. Uh, Catcherulo, Baytown Frosty. I did go with Catcherulo, who shows kind of that steady work tab.
I agree with you. You always have to consider the maker-trained horses, but Vidal, to me, shows a nice work pattern leading up to the race. John Ennis hot with his two-year-olds. Maybe Vidal will get it done in the opener at Keeneland on Wednesday. It's Keeneland Babies, presented by Spendthrift, and we'll be back to discuss Thursday's Keeneland Baby race in a moment. <laughs> 